from China. It's the next day for you. How are you this evening? I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Tomika. I'm, I'm very, I'm, it's my pleasure to join you, uh, your video. Yeah. Let's start. <laughs> Excellent. This is really an honor to have you here. Uh, you have sent me so many incredible pictures uh, of people who had advanced lymphedema, all kinds of stages, as a matter of fact, and the work you have you have done to restore them to full health uh, is just unbelievable. <laughs> You're an absolute genius. Uh, so I, thank you. I really appreciate you being here. You have mentioned when we started that you have done 113 procedures uh, this year. Uh, from what I've been reading, um, I understand this procedure has mainly originated in Asia because there are very few European countries that do LVA. It's pretty much non-existent at this point. Uh, and there are a few centers in the United States uh, that perform LVA, but not that many. Just in this year, I'm uh, I'm uh, finished uh, over 130 mm -hmm. LVA surgeries. Yeah, in this just in this year, every is a, a, a mini procedure for lymphedema surgery. Uh, we use uh, the whole the whole name is uh, lymphovascular anatomics. That means we connect. We use a microscope and uh, we use a microsurgery skills to uh, connect the uh, lymph vessels and uh, ring muscle together and uh, let uh, the lymph liquid flow back to the way. That's what the uh, LVA is. And uh, uh, this surgery first describe by the Koshima, uh, a Japanese surgeons in 1999. So after that, this surgery is uh, uh, developing all over the world. And uh, we call this surgery is a super micro surgery because the diameter of the vessels we anatomist is less than uh, point, point 0.8 millimeters. So average diameter is a point point three millimeters. So we call this a super micro surgery. So LVA is a very difficult uh, procedure uh, because you are working under a microscope uh, with uh, tiny instruments. And I was wondering if as a surgeon you need small hands uh, to be to be effective. I don't think so, uh, because uh, for the micro surgery skills, we didn't need a small hand or big hands. We just need a stable stable hand when we do this procedure. So everyone, every normal person, uh, if they have some uh, good training about. Uh, microsurgery and the super microsurgery skills, everyone can do this surgery. So this method, uh, this type of procedure has originated in Asia? Yeah, um, in Asia, uh, few countries uh, have uh, few centers about uh, this super microsurgery skills training and uh, have some uh, of uh, uh, super micro surgery centers uh, specialized for lymphedema like uh, Japan, like uh, South Korea, like uh, in China. My next question is um, a question that every patient would, would ask you, I'm sure, is who is a good candidate for the LVA? What I mean by that is, is there a stage that's better than another? Uh, the, um, the, the age of the person, the, the physical shape, what are the, what is the criteria that will deliver the best outcome, the best results for the patient? At the beginning of this uh, procedure to, you know, to, to first uh, to describe uh, 
the surgeon seeing seeing thought, uh, maybe just uh, the early voice, like uh, uh, stage one, uh, is the best choice for to do the LVA. If the lymphedema have uh, advanced uh, stage like stage two or stage three, maybe VRNT is best option for the patients. Uh, VRNT is another procedure. It's a vascularized uh, lymph nodes transfer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, another operation for the lymphedema uh, surgery. But uh, uh, in the last uh, 10 years, uh, because surgeons and uh, scientists uh, didn't stop to research the how uh, which find is the best for the lymphedema surgery, and uh, for the last few years, many publications, many articles is talking about using the LVA surgery for the advanced lymphedema, and uh, the outcome. The result yeah, is, uh, you know, uh, is very good. So for now, uh, LVA is uh, can do for every first of lymphedema, like stage one to stage three. But uh, if we have uh, advanced lymphedema patients, maybe we need to do not only LVA. We needed to do LVA combined, uh, like uh, liposuction, like VRNT, uh, something. We need to do two combination the surgeries together. Basically, anyone can benefit from this procedure. Uh, every stage of lymphedema patients can benefit from LVA. For example, for a breast cancer, if we need the oncology surgeons. If we need to do the breast cancer surgery at the same time, we also can do LVA. Before the disease starts, uh, you know, we can stop this disease. This should be on the national news. So what you're saying is in the future, women who are diagnosed with breast cancer, when we get surgery, they can have two surgeons operate on them, one for the cancer procedure and another one to do the LVA. And this way it stops the disease before it even starts. So we can get rid of lymphedema for breast cancer patients. We need a, you know, a team, a mutual discipline team can finish this but uh, for for uh, uh, this complicated procedure uh, combination the all sources together you know it's uh, uh, complicated and uh, for now uh, I think just a few centers can do this many publish uh, uh, results have reported this. That's a good result for everyone, I think. So before you perform the LVA, is it necessary uh, for the patient uh, to exercise vigorously prior to the surgery? I think I read that somewhere. Uh, I, I don't think so, because for my patients, uh, some patients, they, they will Give them some, uh, you know, like CDT, like uh, some exercises before the surgery. But uh, for some other patients, we didn't need to do that. And uh, I just for my opinion and my experience, the outcome uh, is almost the same. Since we have two types of lymphedema, primary and acquired, which patient gets the best result from the procedure? For the primary lymphedema, I think it's more complicated. The cause about uh, primary lymphedema for now is not uncertain. So right. when we do a diagnosis for a patient, you got a primary lymphedema, I think we need to pay more attention about that because uh, the surgery about uh, primary lymphedema 
I think it need more uh, skills, need more experience. I have also learned that there are two schools of thoughts. Uh, some surgeons prefer the patient to be uh, wrapped, bandaged uh, after the procedure. Other surgeons don't recommend that. Which one, in your opinion, is the best approach? Uh, for my opinion, I responded uh, just after surgery, we need to wrap the leg uh, with bondage. But uh, the pressure we need to maintain is a very low level. We don't need to, to pressure, compress the legs uh, highly. Because just uh, after the surgery, few days, the, we need to protect our wound and then we need to protect our you know, anatomic site. Mm -hmm. We need to protect the lymph vessels and the veins. In my uh, clinic, we have a standard procedure. We just uh, wrap the legs with a bandage uh, softly in five days. And uh, after five days of the procedure, we start to do the uh, standard uh, compression. Uh, then you, you move them to regular compression. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, you know, that's an interesting phenomenon because some patients, they didn't follow our, you know, just uh, <laughs> after the surgery, patient go back. Some patients, they feel uncomfortable about uh, bondage and uh, compression. They remove the wrapping? Yeah, they, they, they didn't they use that. They refused to use that. <laughs> but... Uh, but the outcome is uh, is not as good as the bondage one, but uh, it's also much better than before the surgery. Okay, so even if they remove the bandages, they still get results, but they are not as good as if they observed the protocol. Yes, so after one or two weeks, we can do the standard uh, compression. I think. So you recommend one or two weeks? Yes. So months after the recovery phase, uh, is there any risk with exercise, um, something like yoga or weightlifting or running? Uh, is there any risk of causing damage to the anastomosis? Some research work had uh, a uh, report about uh, if we use uh, some uh, uh, like CDT, like yoga, like uh, some uh, activities can uh, can have a better result. But uh, I, th I think for now, is uh, we still have no standard procedure about this. Okay. Um, yeah. But is there a risk of the vein tearing? Let's say the patient is stretching too much with, with yoga because she's a yogi and stretches too much. Is there a risk of tearing the vein? After two or three months yes. after the every surgery, mm -hmm. I think let's uh, see procedure. But I, I otherwise, uh, if we do some, uh, you know, some uh, strong activities, uh, some sports, uh, sponsor, uh, we need to wear some compression garment. Okay, so it's safe, but it's best to wear compression during exercise. That's good to know. I'm sure lots of people will be asking about that. So is the LVA going to become the standard procedure for lymphedema in the future? Yeah, I'm sure about that. I think LVA is the hope for the lymphedema patients because every day I think it's a you know for the patient side it's a simple procedure you just uh, uh, need a few hours and uh, it's a very mini invasive procedure and uh, it's a safety and uh, we just uh, doing this procedure just to uh, you know cut the skins and uh, just the uh, tips maybe Less than one centimeters will finish the whole procedure and then close the one or two centimeters uh, uh, incisions. So, uh, 
incisions for patients is safe and mainly impressive. Just for the patients, our work is very complicated, but uh, for the patients, uh, it's safety and uh, the recovery time is very, very little. Some conscious, we, they didn't uh, uh, do this in the uh, inpatient department. They just doing these procedures in the office, in okay. the surgeon's office. Yes. Wow. So it is so it's minimally invasive. Yes. This is definitely cutting edge and it's going to give hope to so many people who are suffering from this disease. It is so exciting to know that a cure is underway and it is only time before it becomes a standard available everywhere and accessible to everyone. Dr. Zhen Zhao, thank you again for joining us and for offering your, your wisdom, uh, your knowledge, and uh, giving us insights into the new medical advances uh, regarding lymphedema. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.